Daifuku. Wow, this place is so big! I wish Treat could see it. But if she really did go far away, maybe she's already been to a city like this? Where could she be? Closer than you thought. I just wanted to ask a question. <laughs> oh well. You, you creep! Is going around scaring lone women your idea of fun? I didn't mean to scare her. How is she supposed to react when a big wolf comes out of nowhere, all huffing and puffing and all blow your city down, and singles her out while she's alone at night? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. You'd better be sorry. I'm... I'm watching you, wolf. Go back to wherever you came from. Oh, don't let it set in. Oh, baby. Can I talk to him again? You think you could do whatever you want just because you're a wolf? Even I could take you on. Even if, if you don't get out of here right now. Sure, buddy. Sure. You're right, you are. Oh, hey, a food stand. Oh, is this a food stand? That's right. You look about as hungry as a wolf. <laughs> Pardon me. Ah, uh, but you're not afraid of me too, are you? Afraid of a hungry little dog? Never. Your kind's good for business. Am I right? I am. I'm always right. Oh, I can eat here then? Come now, darling. Don't be shy. You sell crepes? Only the very best. I'll make you one on the house just to prove it. Wow, really? You're so nice! She really is, and look at the sunflower on her apron! She's so mom! She's very mom. That's a, that's a mom. That's a mom. Right there, that's a mom person. You don't mind a little chat while I whip this up for you, right? Not at all. We don't see many wolves here in Daifuku. Where are you from, darling? Mount Sorbet. My pack moves around a lot, but we call our home Vanilla. Mount Sorbet, huh? My family used to live near there. We ran a little farm for a few years. <laughs> my sister's the real farmer, though. She and her husband owned the land at the time. They moved out somewhere safer once their baby came. Could that be our dear little Mochi? Maybe, who knows? Pretty odd for a pair of rabbits to have a single child, but that's my sister for you. Come to think of it, uh, also, single child, Mochi, hey. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Come to think of it, having only one partner's a bit odd too. Is it odd? I thought that was expected. It's definitely not for rabbits. We've, I've got two partners waiting at home. Honestly, can't imagine how I would have handled all my children without them over the years. Wow, I've never heard of something like that. Raising a bunch of kids sounds tough, so it definitely makes sense. Makes sense you'd find it odd, too. The dogs that pass through here never tend to have more than a few siblings. Oh, I must sound like such a busybody, always asking customers things like that. I can't speak for everyone, but... I sure do appreciate a stranger being so friendly with me. Mostly I get lots, 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 lots of people who are mad and hate me. I, friend, I just exist. <laughs> we ain't strangers anymore, darling. Call me Costella. Oh, I'm Trick. Nice to meet you, Costella. Well now, your crepe is ready, Trick. Bon appetit. <laughs> it was really delicious. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, darling. I don't mind doing favors for someone who looks so worn out. <laughs> Did I really look worn out? <laughs> well, sure. As a mother, I've got a sense for it. You're pushing yourself too hard. I can't do much about that. The reason I'm traveling is to look for a friend. Sounds important. Hmm. Takes the fun out of traveling when you're fixed on your destination. <laughs> Well, if you're out seeing the world, may as well stop to smell the metaphorical roses. Go easy on yourself, Trick. Okay, thanks. Now you get going. Good luck, and come back when you can. Auntie Costella's crepes will be waiting here for you. 
oh, that's super sweet, she's super nice, and I love her, she's a mom! And probably Mochi's aunt. I'm really, really, I'm really betting on it. Six weeks later. This forest looked a lot smaller on the map. Oh, I'm so hungry. You really should have packed yourself more in the way of food, I'm thinking. Hey, a snack! I've never seen this kind of berry before. I hope they're not poisonous! Just one to be safe. I don't want to risk getting sick. Just one will be fine for now. Then if they're safe, I'll eat my fill. Nom. Doesn't taste too bad. These berries seem alright. I'll pick some more to take with me. And then, a few steps later, thud. <laughs> uh, dizzy. Because I'm hungry, or... I'll just take a short rest. <laughs> Punk. Creepy music. And there's more of them. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's a cult. <laughs> The highest power smiles upon us. This is the first time a wolf has passed our gates. Prepare it at once! We must wait. What? Why? Can't we expedite tradition this time? It's been so long since we were last able to feast. It ate the berries! <laughs> they always do this and always make us wait because of it! <laughs> Despite the wait time, the berries do bring in more meals. It is a net gain, brother. The last one got away due to our impatience. The highest power is giving us another chance. We must display our gratitude. I concur, brother. Let us show some courtesy to our guest before we feast. They eat people! <laughs> huh? Where is this? It awakens! <laughs> Eat this, you will recover. Uh, food? Hmm. Not sure this is okay. Splendid, you've recovered. We will be preparing for the feast shortly. As such, we simply cannot let you leave our village before then. And with that, welcome to Wormwood. Please take some time to relax. The feast wouldn't be possible without you, after all. <laughs> okay. We're all so excited to have you. <laughs> the highest power smiles upon us. The highest power? What's that, the sun? What? The highest power is the highest power? Where could you have gotten confused? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope I didn't offend you. I was just genuinely curious. Although you may never become as beloved as we are by the highest power since you will be in our stomachs, perhaps giving you inquisitive guests a brief overview would not hurt, especially considering you will never leave here alive. The highest power is our great omnipotent leader, and most importantly, sending many magnificent meals our way. It's nice that you have something like that looking after you. I can only really rely on myself. Go to the dining preparation house, accept the highest power's will, and even you shall be blessed in our stomachs! <laughs> Sounds like an honor. We may call each other brother, but we aren't all related, or male for that matter. Hmm. I just felt like pointing that out for some reason. Oh, thanks for the info. It was hard to tell since you're all wearing the same mask and raincoat. These garbs are worn to please the highest power, though we do often mistake who we're speaking to amongst the group. I'd imagine your laundry is tough to sort too. Oh, not at all. Our name tags are soon into the collars. But I shouldn't be giving away the our group secrets. Your charisma will not sway us for most, 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 what must be done. Our meals are to be eaten, not spoken with, eaten, not spoken. Whoa. 
uh, highest power has brought you to us. Such a complacent guest. We were un we are unworthy. Oh my goodness, they're so creepy. Please follow my brother into the dining preparation house. We just can't wait for our meal. Our feasts depend on travelers like you. Had you not come along, we may have had yet another night of unsatisfied tummies. You save all the good meals for visitors? That sounds a little tough. Our temperance has not yet gone unrewarded. Tonight is an auspicious night. <laughs> Just clue in trick, clue in. Feel the rain's countless kisses. Indulge in these, in these such worldly sensations. Revel in this bliss so fleeting. <laughs> Sorry, rain makes me feel more cold than blissful. Revel in bliss, revel while you still breathe. <laughs> these guys. Okay. Would you follow me? Okay. Now then, hmm? This way, quickly. Oh, thank you. Head east. You'll reach the rails. Follow them to the next town. I'm getting kicked out, but everyone was so excited for the feast. Now I have to miss it? Listen. And it's that guy, the one that was in Frosting, the one that said he was from a mouse-only village. It's easy to think things like, wolves are ferocious, mice are harmless, but your species doesn't decide what you'll do to others. You understand that, don't you? You sound so serious. Sure, I understand. It's dangerous to stay here. You should go back where you came from. Oh, I can't go back yet. There's someone I'm looking for. You won't find them here. You're set on this, huh? Must be a terrible feast you're keeping me from. In a sense. In a sense. Innocence. A. Hey. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Please give everyone my thanks for the hospitality. It's not often that people give someone like me a warm welcome. It was nice while it lasted. You're a good person. I hope we'll meet again someday. And maybe we will, since he's already shown up in a, in a thing before. <sighs> I knew I would find you here. <laughs> you got me. I don't think he's coming back. Maybe waiting around all year was the wrong choice. You did more than wait around. Yeah, but you know what I meant, Trick. I mean, Treat. Ah, I get names mixed up all the time. You've always been smiling since that time, but you're still sad about it after all. Oh, were you worried? Hey, you don't have to worry about me, okay? My master wanted me to go out and be a real wolf, not just a pet. Whatever his reasons for leaving the way he did, I'm grateful to him. But you know, when someone you've known for forever just disappears like that, it still kind of hurts. I guess that's why there's the saying, it was for the best. That's how I can keep smiling. You're optimistic. Hey, it's fun to smile too. You should try it more often. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. What I'm trying to say is, if you can laugh, even when you're feeling down, You'll be invincible. Are you trying it? I can't tell. It's ridiculous. Late spring. Jensing, this is where the foxes live, yeah? This must be Jensing. What an out of the way little town. I wonder what the people here are like. They're the interesting sort. Inside is a legendary item! <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I don't want a legendary item. Hello, guess not. But I know you. I know you. You're the, you're the cashier man. <laughs> the 
there's nothing to do here. Oh! You can talk, after all! Well, anyway, I'm sorry that you're bored. You left because it was too much work, and now you're bored? Talk about waxing hot and cold. Looks like no one's home. Knock, knock. Nope. Hey, Peppa! Hi there! Ugh, another wolf. Guess we can't escape them, even in this dump. Aw, oh, Peppa, don't smack talk ya hone home. I'll say whatever I want. Our boss isn't here to make her make us read her stupid lines. Don't you mean former boss? Who cares? I'm sorry, are you having a bad day? Nah, she's always like this. So, wolf. What did you come to a backwoods place like this for? Oh, I've been traveling for months now. I'm looking for my friend. I didn't ask for your life story. Did you bring any souvenirs? Oh, oh, um, I have a lucky coin? Worthless. Ha, <laughs> but to Chris. That's sad. Hey, Wolfie, meet Vest. Wow, thanks. Strangers don't come by here often. Ought to throw y'all a welcome party, and if and you're sticking around, as long as it's, uh, as long as it isn't going to be some mysterious feast. Not a big eater, or are you scared that us unscrupulous country foxes will serve you mystery meat? Oh, it's nothing like that. Welcome parties just make me nervous. I don't want to trouble you either. Who in this? <laughs> who is this goody two shoes? They're getting on my nerves. I'll be honest, Wolfie. The whole potty idea was just me looking for something to do. Hmm. You guys do look pretty bored, just standing around like this. <laughs> you got us there. So, what are you doing in a boring little town like this? I've been looking for someone. A friend. Oh, if it's another wolf, I know one of them. Salt, don't assume all wolves are automatically friends. Could it be Tree? Kind of tall, light hair, barely talks. Yeah, that's the one. She's been living near a little rabbit town called Frosting. Wow, really? For how long? Who knows? She was there before us, and we started living there last winter. Yeah, except that town kind of majorly sucks now. We bailed on it just the other week. Thanks for the info. I think I'll try going there. Follow the tracks west to yonder station, partner. Pony up and skedaddle! <laughs> west, got it. Thank you so much. Oh, that sounds good then. Let's see. Oh wow, it smells terrible. This bag of trash is a little more high class if I had to judge. But let's stop on this one. Hey! And look who that is. <coughs> what? Hello! I'm from out of town! I'm trying to talk to as many people as I can everywhere I go! The door isn't locked. Let's peek inside a bit. Wow, what a dump. Aren't you nosy? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Fine. <coughs> I'm feeling talkative. Come in. I'd love to, but there isn't much space on the floor, is there? Of course there isn't. Because no one's cleaned it. Do you want to know why? I was cursed with a useless family. My sons left with their father many years ago. My only daughter recently severed our relationship as well. Gee, I wonder why. I'm sorry to hear that. <coughs> I loved my children. I was a spectacular mother. The best. Hugely. Bigly. While it lasted. <laughs> That was, of course, before my business came crashing down. All to nothing. They ruined me, forced me out of the city and into this hovel. It sounds like you've been through a lot. Listen up, Wolf. Do you know why my hotels were so successful? It was because they didn't discriminate. Everyone's money was good there. A fox, a mouse, a bug, everyone. To think an idea like that would be so rare in practice. It's foolish, isn't it? 
to deny the amount of capital attainable when you include everyone possible. I was willing to rise above it. My staff was rigorously trained. Treat all paying customers with respect. Be the example of acceptance, even when dealing with the most bigoted of guests. And what am I left to show for it? A conspiracy that destroyed my name. A lie that crumbled an empire. A lie everyone was willing to accept. It's the nature of predators to kill, they said. Wrong! It's the nature of all creatures. No one is any less capable. My staff was only about 20% fox, you know. Rapid doormen, deer maids, pigeon accountants. Those were the sorts of people who lost the jobs. <coughs> Ironic, isn't it? For a mob to hurt the very group it claims to stand for. They want me to rot? Oh, I'll rot. And so will they in the end. It's pointless to act as if you're above it all. <coughs> that is why. If the world expects us to prey on the weak, we mustn't disappoint them. Wouldn't you agree? Um, old wounds at this point. I've had enough at picking at them. Your curiosity is satisfied too, isn't it? Take care of yourself, wolf. Don't leave yourself open to be destroyed by them like I was. Sure thing, ma'am. Okay, let's leave out of that. So that was, that was Moxie's mom. Hmm. And, and if you remember in the last one of these, uh, there, there were these cats who were like, sorry, my throat had to recover from that abuse that I'd hurled at it. Oh, that, that voice. But there was these two cats in, uh, the last one of these where they brought up a, uh, thing where like the foxes were eating up the guests at their hotel and Moxie was really pissed about that and she's like we have no connection to that establishment except she did because it was her mom's chain her mom's establishment that was very personal for her poor baby but anyways and and when she started getting all business savvy and everything she started dressing like her mom if you hadn't noticed I'm sad, really. Anyways, that was a little scary. I hope things get better for her somehow. And back with the music, going down the track. I know where Treat is now. She's living somewhere in this area. I'm finally here. I'm so happy for you, baby. You get to see your friends again, or your friend again, soon to be friends. It's the real station ahead. And it's the Foxy Lodge. I never thought about what I'd do when I got this far. What should I say to her? I guess I could start with hello? Now you're getting all nervous. Hmm, seems to be locked. Now leasing. She really left. On to greener pastures, I suppose. I wonder if she'll be mad. It definitely took way too long for me to get to this point. Or maybe she'll be upset that I didn't spend that time doing something more worthwhile. Oh, sweet child of mine. Oh, sweet child of mine. The town of Frosting, a friendly, safe, and secure mountain paradise for rabbits that made a giant wall to keep out the predators because they're paranoid. Oh. Excuse me, sir. This is Frosting, right? Yes, it is. Wolves aren't allowed inside. Oh, okay. I'll stay out here. Do they really make you stand here all day? That is the profession. How noble. Sorry to bother you. Pardon me. Ah. Aw, it's not the sheep sheep. It's... Oh, you're that mouse. Hey, yeah. And you're that wolf. I remember you. Did you ever find your friend? Almost. She lives around here. Wow, so this is the end of your long search, huh? That's some dedication. If I was here, I'd feel happy knowing someone cared enough to look for me that long. 
Well, the thing is, I don't know if she wanted anyone to follow her. What if she gets mad at me? You're worrying about that now? <laughs> Good point. Aww. Precious babies. I want them to be happy. Oh, but isn't it always the way? Sure, I'll stop feeling anxious once I talk to her. Maybe, maybe not. Treat and mochi. Treat and mochi. <laughs> Hello. Oh man, her voice. Where do I get it? Oh, a rabbit. I wasn't expecting. Never mind. Hi there. Sorry to bother you. Rumor has it another wolf lives around here somewhere. Do you know her? Tree? Yeah, she lives here. Oh, lucky me. Is she here right now? She's actually at work right now. Um, it's not far though. I can take you there. That'd be great. Thank you. My name's Mochi. I'm Trick. Nice to meet you, Mochi. You and Treat live here together. You and Treat live here together? Yeah, it ended up that way. So, um, where she works is just down this path. This way? Got it. Oh, it's mochi and her hair is longer. So, Trick, where are you from? Oh, I grew up here on Mount Sorbet. First, I lived with a human, then with Treat and her pack, and then, well, I've been a lot of places since then. Oh, <laughs> I guessed right. <laughs> Tree hasn't told me much about her pack, but that's the impression I got from seeing you. Oh, she's nervous. She doesn't want Treat to be taken away. Hey, um, by the way, you've been traveling for how long? Mm, uh, since last winter. Oh, about when she showed up here. Oh. Uh, did you, um, did you come here to take Treat back home? Mm. Nope! Nothing like that. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm being super noisy! Nosy! Uh, no, no, you're fine. First, I thought, why is a wolf here? And then you wanted to see Treat, and I knew you must be from her pack! And, and knowing that she ran away, I, I thought if you were looking for her, it must mean that you want her to go back home with you! And that's usually why you look for a missing person, right? I'm sorry, I didn't show up just to... But if, but if you've really been searching for her all this time, because you're her friend and you care about her, I just couldn't tell you to go away. So I got scared and panicked and I started babbling and you weren't trying to take her away in the first place. I just feel so selfish worrying about it when you're being so nice and... and, and... Hey, it's okay. You can calm down now. Well, sorry for freaking out. I'm okay now. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you panic. Oh, it's not your fault. I'm the one who has a problem with acting weird lately. Um, let's hurry up and talk to Treat. I'm sure she'll be excited to see her old friend, right? I wonder. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. So, this is it? Yep, this is where she works. I wonder if it's really okay to drop in while she's working. Uh-huh. You don't want to say hi after all? I do, but... <laughs> Make up your mind, silly. You came all this way, right? Yeah, we did. So let's go inside already, yeah? Here goes. Welcome to our hot springs. We provide a rich cultural experience and, of course, a nice hot bath to warm your soul in the midst of even the coldest winter. Oh, how nice! Um, sorry, we didn't come for a bath this time. Mochi, how have you been? I see you've befriended another wolf. I've been okay, and this is actually one of Treat's old friends. Hey, even if we're not here for it, can I still go into the hot spring? Uh, sure, but... I thought I heard... 
Oh! Oh! You're... Why are you here? Well, it's a hot spring! A bath sounded nice! Trick! Just kidding. I came to see you, Treat. I didn't think you'd... You're not mad, are you? Why would I be? Never mind. I'm just glad to see you're okay. Everyone, this is my friend Trick. They probably came a long way, so please treat them well. <sighs> so happy. Oh, I love them. They get to enjoy a nice bath together. Happy times. And then Moxie appears! <laughs> Hello, Moxie! <laughs> oh, and they get to eat together. Happy day. I can't sleep. Same here. <laughs> Come on, quit staring. You're making me nervous. <laughs> I didn't think that they would get to meet you and that we would all get to do something like this together. Yeah, I wasn't sure I'd ever get to see you again. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, I found you. So you don't have to apologize. I should have at least told you that I wouldn't be coming back, but I couldn't say it. I'm really sorry. Oh, you said goodbye in your own way. That's good enough for me. Everyone was probably a little mad. Nah, Fennel was the only one who was really upset. <laughs> By upset, I mean upset. And you know how she is. Mostly we just wanted you to be happy, you know? Hey now. Everyone's still around. As far as I know, go and say hi sometime. I'm sure that your parents would be happy to see you're doing well. It's not like they'll make you explain yourself. I mean, normally parents would, but not them, apparently. Oh, they're interested in their cranberries. <laughs> you're all so nice, even when I don't deserve it. Don't say things like that. Of course you deserve it. Oh, happy things. Feeling sleepy yet? Tell me another story about somewhere you visited. <laughs> All right, let me think. Oh, so sweet. I love them all so much. <laughs> Ever since that day, I tend to wake up way too early. Because you don't want to miss your friend leaving you like that again because you slept in. I guess it's about time. Oh, baby. Mochi, sorry for scaring you before. Take care of Treat while I'm away, all right? This fox sure loves to sleep. She was the first to pass out. <laughs> Seeing Treat sleeping so peacefully really makes me feel at ease. Oh, baby. Oh, you don't have to go. Seriously, you can make a home here. You don't have to leave. I know you're wandering, wolf trick, but it doesn't have to be the kind of trick you pull, right? Oh, but the sakura trees. The sakura trees are so gorgeous. Ah, oh, I love it. Trick. Guess this means I'm not as good as slipping away, huh? <laughs> Please don't leave. That's a little unfair, isn't it? If you're trying to prove a point, or get back at me for before, I get it, so don't. Babies. Uh, no, I... that really wasn't my intention. Sorry that it came off wrong. Then, I don't understand. I'm not sure how to explain it. To be honest, I got really carried away going to all sorts of new places while I was trying to find you. Which I was completely useless at, especially considering you never even left the mountain. Whoops! <laughs> I guess when you left, it gave me an excuse to keep traveling and seeing more of the world. There's still so much more out there. So I just can't stay put. Besides, while I was out having fun, you already built a life here. I can't just barge in on that. 
Except you could when they invite you to. I mean, you'd probably have to build another house. I mean, Mochi and Trita both got a thing of their own going on, so. I realized the home I was looking for has been lost from the start, so I have to go and find a new one. Your new home can't be here? Sorry, it can't. <sighs> hey, Treat. Have a good day tomorrow. I... I already have a good day every day, so you don't have to worry. They're saying the lines that she said to them back when back when she first left. Oh. Get plenty of rest and don't forget to eat, okay? And she realizes it. Okay. S see you. Yep. See you later. To be continued. Oh, the series is so good. It's so good. And I need to know what happens next. Oh, I'm so excited. Definitely, definitely, definitely check out this person, the creators, uh, itch.io in the description. Nom nom nom. So cute.